All right, so I think the first question that comes to mind is why? Why would anybody go through the trouble of finding and buying an old, disgusting, possibly not working analog mixer from the 80s? In this day and age when you can do beautiful sounding music with just your PC? Well, for us, uh, the answer was kind of easy. It is the way that we want it to work here. Of course, uh, there's this whole analog uh, feel and sound argument to be made and we are really excited to test it out and see if we can get better sounding mixes and recordings out of this console. But for starters, we wanted something that wouldn't sound any worse than what we already have and would give us a hands-on experience. So the console that we bought is an old Soundtrack MR24 analog mixer from a company that uh, I think no longer makes this kind of products. I think they make some digital mixers right now. It clearly had seen better days and it came without its power supply, but for 250 euros we thought that it was worth the risk to see if we could get it up and running again. So the first thing that needed to be done immediately was a good cleaning of the desk because all those years and in the storage it was really disgusting and it wasn't something that I wanted in here. And also I needed to find some legs in order to put it in place of the desk that I had. I was lucky enough to have uh, such a pair of legs, uh, so I spent uh, a day painting it black uh, because it was old and rusty, and then I started taking the old desk uh, apart. Of course I know that uh, there may be a case where this uh, mixer isn't working and I'm doing all this job for nothing, but uh, I thought it was worth the risk, and at least uh, I would have uh, a really cool looking desk uh, with a lot of knobs and faders on it. But of course in the end we hope to have a good sounding working analog console for under 600 euros including the power supply and the repairs. But most of all we are excited to work on this mixer and we hope to find a new workflow that will be more interesting for us and we hope that this excitement will translate into the music that we are making and recording here. Also, what I found out uh, through my research is that it is really interesting and difficult uh, for someone that has never done it before to integrate an analog mixer into today's uh, in-the-box uh, studio. But these are the kind of things that we hope to learn along the way. So, this is part one of this series regarding these big change we are making here in our studio. If you are interested to see how this continues, you can consider subscribing and uh, welcome to our analog journey. You act fools, this one's for you, keeps it real.